everyone and welcome yourselves back to the YouTube channel. I'm back for another review today, talking about the brand new DC Extended Universe and the first DC Extended Universe film, a part of the reboot of sorts and to be featured in Phase 1. So arguably this is the Iron Man of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And what better way to start with one of my all-time favourite actors, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, as he takes on the mantle and the role of Black Adam, spoils ahead, subscribe and like as always, and do let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on Black Adam. Enjoy. So, Green Rock Johnson has finally stepped into the world of DC, into the superhero world, and he will be playing, and has played, Black Adam in the shared world of Shazam, Superman, and all those set to return to the uh, the world. With Shazam Fury of the Gods featured um, similar elements to this. You know, you've got um, the phrase Shazam and obviously how Black Adam transforms from his normal character into, I, th I can't remember the actual name. He's called something Adam rather than Black Adam. He gets the Black Adam name at the end of the film. Uh, but yeah, it's, um, it's exciting. Henry Cavill back as Superman in the post credit scene. Um there was heavily, it was heavily implied slash heavily rumored that it was going to be a headless appearance again, like Shazam, uh, or like a silhouette appearance, like in Peacemaker. And I think fans would never have been satisfied with that and the original Warner Bros. team. So now with a new Warner Bros. team, Dwayne Johnson taking a huge role with Seven Books Production and making sure that this world is in a good hands. He has gone ahead and made a very good film in Black Adam. He's brought Henry Cavill to the forefront and we're obviously going to see a superman the black adam film very similar to the black adam v black batman v superman film so i guess i'll have to wait and see more about that about that but on the context of the film very very good in my opinion i think dwayne johnson brought black adam to life in such a good way incredible flashbacks to bring the story to life about how it was his son who got the original powers of the, uh, the champion, but ultimately passed them on to his dad, who obviously ended up being Black Adam. And um, being the champion, taking down the temple and killing the king ultimately, which led into the modern day of him being seen as a, a villain of sorts by the Justice Society of America, you know, bringing in Atom Smasher, Cyclone, Hawkman and Doctor Fate. I think the balance of the characters, having that young lad being someone who looked up to Black Adam. Uh, I love all the archaeological stuff that was at the start. Um, I loved how we got a couple of characters from the Peacemaker series. Um, names are always something that never stick with me. But um, Amanda Waller. And the blonde girl who's played by Jennifer Holland. I think that's her name. Who's Marissa James going in real life. Brilliant to see them back in, in very minor roles. <coughs> but I also want to address this. Who are all those characters who they've kept in submerged or on the on the water? I think that's going to be exciting to see who they are um, in the future and if they play more into this. You know, Amanda Wallace survived the original Suicide Squad, the new Suicide Squad peacemaker and now she's in black adam so even though they are rebooting aspects of it they definitely wanted to keep certain people around because uh is it viola davis um she's a brilliant actress she's very much one of the highlights of the world being a very villainous but good character um Piers brosnan was one of the standouts in my opinion playing dr fate um he obviously died but i think his segments and sequences were brilliant his his delivery on scenes, he was so... Um, he was the mature one of the group. Hawkman was very headstrong and not willing to listen to what Black Adam wanted to say. Cyclone and Adam Smasher were just there for the lols. They were brilliant to watch. A good dynamic duo for sure, and I'd love to see more of them. Henry Winkler appearing as the original Atom I thought was really cool. I don't think he's ever appeared as the Atom, but to have that little nod in there that there was an original Atom and now they're making someone the new Atom Smasher, so that was really cool. So character-wise, very good. Story-wise, very good. A good villain basically taking on someone who had the same heritage from the guy, from the king who Black Adam originally killed uh, what, 5,000 years ago 
and then bringing it back to the modern day, you know, seeing some of the superpowers, seeing some of the battles. Um, there was comedy aspects in there from like the uncle. He was funny to watch. I love the zombie scenes. You know what? People have said it's a fun film. And, you know, this is a very, very fun film, very enjoyable. But I also saw something. Why do we rank, for example, this sort of film on the same scale we would rank Dark Knight Trilogy or Avengers? Um, I don't think it should be because, you know, not every film's going to reach those limits. And this film isn't trying to be those films. And for that matter, I loved everything about this film. As I said, from casting to action to story to what Dwayne Johnson did. I'm also in love with what he's doing external to the film. You know, he's the reason Henry Cavill's back. He's the reason the DC Extended Universe has got a phase one. He's the reason why things are more structured. He's the reason and voice behind what DC will be going forward. Dwayne Johnson will make things happen. He was a big advocate and with team with Vin Diesel for Fast and Furious. He made it better when he got brought into it Fast Five. And ultimately, he'll do the same thing for DC. He's a brilliant actor. He's friggin' amazing at what he does. I loved everything about his film. Uh, I was going to say, you know, there was things I hate, but I don't, you know, I, I from flashbacks, flashbacks were brilliant. I love how they were after this specific thing um, that powered the crown. And it was basically his kryptonite because, you know, he, he got hurt, he passed out, but he can mend himself. So little things like that, you know, very similar things. Superman, Superman's his kryptonite. His is, I think it's M, 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 MBDI, something like that. Um but um, a terrific film, a very good watch. And I think one of my favorite DC Extended Universe films in a while. You know, it's definitely better than your Wonder Woman 84s. It's better than Shazam. Uh, you put it up there with your Aquamans, your Wonder Womans, a Battle of the Superman. <clears throat> and yeah, I think it's in the top five, top six maybe. Um, but yeah, Dwayne Johnson pour a lot of work into this and yeah you could say there's a lot of generic superhero stuff generic fights generic stuff but i think they wanted to tell a story that was in a different place that we've never seen before with different characters we've never seen on the big screen to build a bigger world with amanda wall with superman with shazam at some point and i think ultimately this is going to be a very exciting journey and the fact that it's the first one in phase one is very exciting so you guys do let me know down below in the comments what you thought of black adam i think it was terrific and included every aspect of film i want to see um but yeah dwayne johnson is the future of the DC Extended Universe. And Cavill, I want to touch on Cavill just a little bit. He, you know, I Cavill is one of my all-time favorite actors. I think he's someone who, just like Dwayne, he gets a script, he gets a character, and he knows how to pull it up, you know, bring it to life. You know, Dwayne Johnson, it's Jumanji, or if it's Journey 2, or if it's uh, Fast and Furious, or if it's this, whatever it may be, your central intelligence, he's fantastic and brilliant at bringing these characters to life. Um... Same with Cavill, if it's Sherlock Holmes, the new in the in all Holmes films, if it's um, Geralt in the Witcher series, he's, he's phenomenal in that role. If it's Superman, he knows how to bring Clark Kent alive. Whatever it was, Mission Impossible, when he featured in that, he is truly a phenomenal actor. And I can't wait for him to be redeemed in the superhero world and for him to have a second film. You know, Man of Steel 2 is in the works. And, you know, he did a very, very good job. And I hope we get to see him work alongside Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, Ray Fisher, Ezra Miller can go fuck himself until he sorts himself out. And maybe, maybe we'll see Martian Manhunter now that, in fact, he appeared at the end of Justice League. Maybe they're going to redeem Zack Snyder to this world. We'll have to wait and see, but I think Zack Snyder has to direct Man of Steel too. There's no way around it. He is the guy who can bring Henry Cavill to life. And... Just last night on that, his suit looked very reminiscent of um, the original 70s one. We've obviously modernized it like how he's looked, but the colors looked more like the original. So I love how they did that. They toned costume down a bit, but made it so Cavill was just like he had never gone. So you guys let me know who was your favorite of the Justice Society. It's going to have to be Piers Brosnan, as cliche as that may sound, but... He is a fantastic actor. He, again, just like Cavill or Dwayne, when he gets a script, when he gets a role, he knows how to bring it to life, whether it's Bond or whether it's this or whether it's in Hot Fuzz or whatever, whatever it may be. He is... Was he in Was he in Hot Fuzz? No, I can't ask you what I'm thinking of. But yeah, he's a terrific actor nevertheless. And the rest of the cast did it justice, from the kid to the main woman to the uncle 
to the rest of the Justice Society, to Amanda Waller, to the building of the world they are creating, like all the people in that underwater facility. There's a lot to tell, there's a lot to deal with, there's a lot to look forward to, and I can't wait to see Shazam in March. Until next time, thanks so much as always, subscribe and like, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you enjoyed the review as well. If so, do let me know down below in the comments by leaving a like as well. Goodbye. Thank you.